We got crazy back in the old days. <laughs> Those guys would just stop the show, go out there and settle it, and come back and play more music. Had a beer with Johnny Paycheck and uh, Sammy Hagar not too long ago. And the Floribama's just always been about characters. Way before TV stations and cable networks started touting these kind of things. There's a sacred place that songwriters call the Church of Songwriting. A place where legends like Hank Cochran, Mickey Newberry, Sonny Throckmorton, and Wayne Carson go to find inspiration. It's been rebuilt many times after hurricanes and is located on the Florida-Alabama line. The Floribama. It started over 50 years ago when the only things on the beach were old homes shacks and fishermen with tall tails. I said, Joe, you pour the whiskey and I'll play the music. You know, because back in the old days, some bar owner would tell you what kind of music he wanted in his bar. But Joe was like, that's cool. I'll pour the whiskey, you play the music. And the freedom was there. I had already kind of done the big time and I was looking for expressionism, you know, a, a place to uh, perform that night, songs I wrote that morning. The 70s, you know, were, you know, the end of the Tampere era, okay? And the Tampere, you know, the Tampere area had brought that whole camaraderie thing together from fishermen, to, you know, to the to, to millionaires, to developers, to construction workers. And now during that time also, it was when Stabler used to come in a lot when he was still playing with the Oakland Raiders. And, and I think some of the notoriety of Florida got started there when he called it the best watering hole in the United States. Yeah, it basically in the early days you had you had like an odd house just about, but it was you know you had a septic tank down below, an old package store with a little bar around around the corner on the other side. On the side was the drive-through window. On Sundays, the Budweiser truck, back in the, <laughs> in the 70s, uh, would be able to just load up one time 500 cases of beer go out the side window because nobody could buy a beer on Sunday. To go fishing in all of Orange Beach. You know, I think it's just different from other places. Every place that I've played, this is totally different. Uh, I'm not going to say that everything, anything goes, but it seems like you're free to be who you want to be or what you want to do here. Such a variety of music, rock, blues, country, any, anything you want, you can find it here with a, a variety of people. I remember one time, it was like a Tuesday night, and Jimmy Buffett came in and was very slow and got up uh, on the stage by maybe 10 people in the room and people were asking him to play Margaritaville and he told everybody to shut up. He was going to play what he wanted to play. <laughs> so that's, that's the great thing about the Bama, you know, that you, the people feel like they can come in here on an off night and I believe recently we had Tanya Tucker in here and, and she just felt comfortable enough she could get up on the stage and just do her thing without, you know, people harassing her. And, uh, you know, Joe Namath, gosh, it goes back a lot of people, Kenny Chesney, we've had a lot of famous people come through here.